If you want to work at a fire station in any branch of the military, you're going to have to come through and graduate the Department of Defense's Fire Academy. Here's a day in the life. Take me down to the river bend. Take me down to the fighting end. Wash the poison from off my skin. Show me how to be whole again. Fly me up on a silver wing. Past the black where the sirens sing. Warm me up in a Nova's glow. Drop me down to the dream below Cause I'm only a crack In this castle of glass Hardly anything there For you to see For you to see Let's talk a little bit about the Fire Academy. Note this is all my opinion and not the opinion of any military branch or organization. At the Fire Academy, your class will have students from all branches of the military. My class has someone from the Navy, a bunch of airmen, a Marine, and someone from the Coast Guard. And that's the same deal with the instructors. They can be instructors from all branches of the military, but they can also be civilians too, which is pretty cool to get that mix. What obviously makes this Fire Academy stand out is it's 100% military. Even most of the civilian instructors have prior service in the military, which means depending on your instructor, if you mess up on an objective while you're out in the field working, you're probably going to get yelled at like at zero week at boot camp. You will not laugh! You will not cry! Nothing here is done as an individual. For example, if the class leader lays their turnouts on the ground in a certain way, then everyone else in the class has to also lay their turnouts on the ground in that exact certain way or you're probably going to get in trouble. It's a very team-based fire academy, which is a good thing because once you get to your fire department, you're going to need to be able to work on a team, otherwise people will die. The question is, how hard is it to graduate this fire academy? Well, it really depends. I know a lot of people that just couldn't make it through. They either didn't study or weren't strong enough, and they ended up failing out and getting reclassed into a different job in the military. Throughout the fire academy, you're doing objectives on almost a daily basis and you are only allowed to have five fails in total throughout your time at the fire academy, and you have to pass every objective. For some people, it's not being able to pull a 185 pound dummy that gets them. For other people, it's not being able to study and be a good test taker that gets them. On the positive side, most people will come through this fire academy and graduate and be just fine. I know someone that came here who was on the FDNY and thought this academy was one of the easiest things ever. So it really depends on how physically and mentally tough you are, how much you can study, and how much effort you're going to put into it. Now here's what I don't like about the Fire Academy. You're going to come here and learn the minimum requirements to be a firefighter for the Department of Defense. You're not going to come here and learn all the ins and outs of firefighting and be a great firefighter by the time you leave here. That all comes afterwards. Once you leave here, you go to your unit, you go to a base, you start working at a real fire station, and 
your supervisors and the people you're with there are all gonna train you to be better firefighters. This fire academy is just to get all your fire certs so you can legally go do your job. For aircraft rescue firefighting, you're gonna be working with some of the most experienced instructors out there because a lot of what the military does is aircraft rescue firefighting. There's a lot of airplanes in the military especially in the Air Force. But when it comes to structural firefighting, speaking as a former structural and wildland firefighter, a lot of the instructors are really great at the subjects they're teaching and the book knowledge, but when it comes to actual life experience as a firefighter in a structural fire department, they might not have as much as compared to a firefighter that works in a city and responds to 10 calls per shift Whereas on a military base, you might respond to five calls a week, simply because military bases are a lot smaller and they're kept very safe and they might not be as busy. Now that's not the case with all military bases. Some of them are actually very busy and you can get a lot of experience, but I'm sure at this point you get what I'm saying. After a normal day at the fire academy, I get back to my dorm between 15 and 16.30. So now I'm gonna go check the PO box, get some dinner and then hit the gym. Good, how are you? You too, thank you, ma'am. Here's what dinner looks like. It's different depending on the day, so you're not eating the same thing over and over, but today I got pork, broccoli, rice, some whole milk, grapes, water, a little cake, some Doritos, and then I got this Italian sub for later. You definitely get plenty of food here, whether you're trying to gain or lose weight, they have plenty of meal options for you. During the work week, we have PT built into our schedules, so we automatically do it with our day, but around the weekend, we don't. So I enjoy coming to the gym and doing my own custom exercises built for me. There's a few different gyms on base, and this one right here is an outdoor gym. There's something about working out outside that's absolutely motivating. So for me, this is definitely the place to go. I'm only a crack in this castle of glass Hardly anything else I need to be Just got back from the gym, getting ready to go to bed. One thing one of my instructors said was the only easy day was yesterday. And he got that from the SEAL teams, but we definitely take it to heart here at the Fire Academy. Um, that's why I try and go to bed as early as possible so I can be as awake as possible for the next day. But uh, definitely, if you come here to the Fire Academy, be ready to give 100% mentally and physically, and you'll do just fine here. Thank you for watching this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day, everyone.